Hello? My name is a dumb wolf. I'm a huge fan of cartoon shows. The shows I like to watch the most are Skunk Fu, Animaniacs, MLP, Friendship is Magic, Littlest Pet Shop, The Loud House, Archer, Brandy and Mr. Whiskers, South Park, League of Super Evil, Dudley Do-Right, T-U-F-F Puppy, Tennessee Tuxedo, Pokemon Anime, Underdog, Bunicula, Kids Next Door, The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, Rocco's Modern Life, Star vs. the Forces of Evil, Captain N, Digimon Tamers, and the Mr. Men Show, even if that sounds sexist. But what if I told you that last one I mentioned has an unreleased dark episode? I'm about to tell you about it right now. You see, <clears throat> since a lot of the cartoons I like aren't on the television anymore, I view them on a website called Cartoon World. Featured a lot of cartoon shows, including my favorites. Every episode of the cartoon shows were featured. It seemed to me a lot better than other online cartoon show websites. One day, while I was looking through episodes of The Man Show, I then watched The Mr. Men Show Season 2. And I found this episode, The Mr. Men Show Season 2, Episode 27, Blood. I couldn't believe it. I thought Pests was the last episode of the Mr. Men Show, but apparently not. I don't even remember hearing about this episode. I really wanted to watch it. When I clicked on it, it sent me to LiveLeak.com. If you don't know, it's a website that includes videos from the dark web. It displayed a message that usually appears when you're about to watch a really disturbing video. Warning thread. The Mr. Men Show, Season 2, Episode 27, Blood, might contain content that is not suitable for all ages, such as blood. By clicking on Continue, you confirm that you are 18 years or over. I was confused. Why would an episode of a kid-friendly cartoon be here? Also, why would they add the mature content warning? Curiosity Kill the Cat. Wow. When I click continue and it sent me to the video, the description didn't mention anything about the episode. No, instead it said this. This was originally going to be the final episode of the Mr. Men show. The creators had secret plans to make it as an introduction to an adult party cartoon version of the Mr. Men program, like Ren and Stimpy's fate was, but it was scrapped due to negative responses from test viewers. In other words, the original episode was too dark and disturbing to appear on Cartoon Network. If you're a fan of the Mr. Men program, then you may be very disturbed if you watch this episode, but then again, you might just naturally be. Viewer discretion is advised, punk. Hmm. Also, the video was different. Instead of having a screenshot of the episode with a play button in the middle, it was completely black with a red line of text and Comic Sans font saying, Click me. I wanted to know why the episode was banned, so I clicked play on the video and began to watch the program. Oh, the beginning was fine, fine indeed, with the characters' faces flashing on the screen like a dance floor. However, nobody appeared in the rest of the intro. Not even Mr. Tickle, my best friend, when he stretched his arms out. When the logo appeared, it was colored pastel red instead of orange and blue. The website wasn't joking around. Something was definitely wrong with this episode. Either that or I forgot to take my medication. The title card was black with a drawing of a heart, not the shape. The organ and fog around it with the word blood in the middle. The music was a low rumbling noise like music you'd find in a horror game. Perhaps it was meant to simulate the flow of blood. Blood is a very important part of the Mr. Men and Little Misses. The narrator explained as the scene began with a beating heart which zoomed out to show a body with veins all around it. I was more disturbed by the sexism. Mr. Men, Little Misses? Mm. 
it helps to not only keep them alive, but also stay active. Nobody can live without it, not even your parents. However, if your skin is damaged, it can leak out of you like water, young man. The narrator sounded a bit more serious than normal when he said those last words. The scene began with Mr. Grumpy sitting on a bed crying to himself. However, it didn't sound like him crying. No, it sounded like a real person crying. I could even hear whispering in the background. Then suddenly cut to black for 30 seconds. After that, it showed Mr. Grumpy writing on a sheet of paper. He was speaking out loud as he wrote, Dear all Mr. Men and Little Misses, I'm sorry for what I'm about to do, but I have to do it. I've been stuck in a pit of hell, and I want you to know that you all caused it to happen. Little Miss Whoops, Mr. Scatterbrain, you fucking ruined my garden! You destroyed all my peach trees and put store-bought tomatoes, corn, and clocks on my garden instead of planting fucking tomato, corn, and corgit seeds. Just for that, you're both going to do with what I'm about to do with you. Mm. My, my. Mr. Tickle, you fucking dumbass. You're always trying to tickle me no matter what I do. I'm going to call the cops on you. You have no respect for my feelings, you, you, you person of an alternate sexuality, you. But in some cases, you do like to be around me. But that's not an excuse to save you from what I'm about to do to you. <clears throat> Little Miss Naughty, you fucking bitch. I fucking hate you so much. I'm sick and tired of your shitty pranks, you Paul. Your naughtiness is going to face what I'm about to do to you and the rest of you. I fucking hate you all. And you're all assholes. <clears throat> Sign, Mr. Grumpy. Wow, I, I was I was shocked at this point. Well, what did he mean by get ready for what I'm about to do to you? That that didn't sound kosher. The next scene showed all of the Mr. Men and Little Misses in a theater. Surprisingly, Little Miss Calamity was there too, even though she was removed from season two. The scene then showed the movie screen, which was playing a Mr. Men show version of The Shining. Suddenly, a knife came out of the movie screen and moved down, cutting a huge hole in the screen. Then Mr. Grumpy came out of the hole. His face was very closely detailed, like some of the faces in SpongeBob. Veins were visible on his forehead with blood coursing through them. Blood. His teeth were sharp and crooked in his eyes. Oh, no. His eyes were the worst part. All of his veins were popping out in blood red. The bottom half was bloodshot, turning from a dark red to a sudden distinct red, where his maniacal pupils were. He had red irises, which seemed to be flowing with blood. Get ready to die, he said in a demonic voice that sounded an awful lot like my grandpa. The other Mr. Men and Little Misses began screaming and running around the theater like little bitches. Mr. Grumpy jumped out of the hole in the movie screen. The scene suddenly turned into pure static. Then a test card pattern appeared while a sine wave was the only thing that could be heard. The color bars lasted for 30 seconds. The next scene was horrible. Oh, if you've been in a slaughterhouse before, you've seen nothing. It showed all of the Mr. Men and Little Misses horribly mutilated. Mr. Happy, well, he wasn't so happy. The sides of his mouth were cut all the way across his cheeks. His eye was dangling from his socket with hyper-realistic blood dripping out of it. His limbs were broken, twisted at unnatural angles. His heart was cut out and laid in front of him with the artery still hanging out of his chest. Little Miss Sunshine, yeah, right, was killed in a similar way, but both of her eyes were pulled out and shoved down her ass. Her berets were cut off and laying in a pool of blood next to her, and her legs were chopped off like mutton. Little Miss Whoops, yeah, big whoops, left arm and right leg ripped off. Her glasses were broken blood, uh, was leaking out of a huge hole where, uh, well, a huge hole that I won't mention where it is. Her right arm was tied to a chain on the ceiling and blood was dripping out of her whatever. The words, Mr. Grumpy was here, were carved into the wall next to her. Mr. Bump's bones were crushed. His bandages were torn. His skull was smashed. And one of his eyes was laying next to him. Blood shot. Blood half squid. 
He looked like a pile of mashed up gore that you might eat at Thanksgiving knowing your family. He was a pile of mashed up gore. Mr. Tickle had an axe buried into his back. I bet that tickled. A pool of blood could be seen forming underneath him. His arms were tied in knots and an upside down pentagram with the words, Where's that tickle now? Around it were carved into his head. I guess that was supposed to be sarcastic. Mr. Scatterbrain's head was scatterbrained. Smashed open, his brains were scattered all over the floor. I actually kind of laughed when I realized it was a joke since his name was Mr. Scatterbrain. (laughs) It was still pretty fucked up. A toothless Mr. Stubborn was lying on the floor, frozen blue dud. His teeth were buried into some kind of rotten carved stump. There were visible lacerations around his neck. His eyes were X-shaped, but not cartoony. They looked like bad stitches. Dirty brown leaves surrounded him. Who knows why they were dirty brown. Mr. Fussy had a knife in his eye, and Mr. Messy was on fire with his left arm missing. Oh, but the fire burning him prevented the bloody mess. Little Miss Chatterbox had a knife buried into her chest. Should have been her throat in her chatterbox. Her skin was gray. Her legs were ripped in half. Her eyes were missing. A pool of blood that could be seen forming on her. Her stomach had blood stains in the form of the number 576. Mr. Quiet's stomach was ripped open as Guts were everywhere. Should have made a pun about being quiet. Mr. Noisy had a chainsaw in his mouth. There was a pun. Mr. Bounce's head was sliced off, probably bounced on the floor after it was chopped off. Little Miss Daredevil's stomach was ripped open. Her intestines were cut up. Old five feet away from her, blood was blood was draining from her stomach onto the floor. There was nothing, nothing daring about that. Uh, Mr. Strong's muscles were cut out and piled on top of him. How did Mr. Grumpy manage to kill him anyway? He was pretty strong. Little Miss Helpful? Well, how helpful is this? She was just dead, besides being covered in blood. I couldn't find any wounds on her body. No clues that were helpful. Mr. Lazy was hanging on a noose. Uh, How lazy is that? Blood was dripping from the deep slits in his face. Blood. Mr. Nosy was nailed to an inverted cross and his nose was peeled off. His intestines were dangling from his split open stomach. Mr. Small was floating in a boiling pot full of blood and little small bits of organs. Pieces of Mr. Rude were slowly sliding off the wall. How rude, how stubborn. He was literally disintegrated. Blood, guts, and ruptured organ tissue stained the whole wall. He was smeared with nothing but bodily bits. Little Miss Naughty and Little Miss Scary's eyes were gone, and blood was oozing for the deep scratches on their faces. Oh, how scary. The Season 2 characters were all dead, with Little Miss Bossy's intestines used to hang her from a rack on the wall, Mr. Tall being repeatedly struck with a hammer, Little Miss Magic forever on fire with magic fire, her skin melting and regenerating itself in an endless cycle, and Mr. Funny, Little Miss Curious, and Little Miss Giggles surrounded by flies with Little Miss Curious or Organs completely out of her body, how curious. Mr. Nervous' eyes were pitched black with blood dripping down them, cuts in his body, his arms and legs chopped off. How about his nervous system? Little Miss Calamity wasn't as bloody or horribly mangled as the others were, though. The word BITCH in all capital letters was carved into her stomach, and it looked like her death was, I don't know, suffocation. Thank goodness, but it surprised me that Mr. Grumpy gave Little Miss Calamity a more humane death than the others. Why I was focused on that, I don't know. Probably doesn't say much good about me. After a few seconds, it showed Mr. Grumpy completely drenched in blood. Boy, did that feel good, he said happily. What a freaking psychopath. Then the police came. Mr. Grumpy, you're under arrest. They handcuffed him and sent him to jail where he belonged. The final scene was Mr. Grumpy in an electric chair. It turned on, burning him to death. He was then thrown onto a pile of decaying corpses, along with the rest of the Mr. Men and Little Mrs. Fresh corpses. The credits had an eerie tune, and the background had the same fog from the title screen. When the credits stopped, it faded to black with a white text which said, the Mr. Man, a little misses are dead. The show is over. Thank you for watching. The final episode of the Mr. Man show has to be final because they're all dead. Goodbye. 
An echoing high tune rang for about, I don't know, 12 seconds. After that, the episode was finally over. Had to have been some symbolism in the 12, so anyway. I didn't go back to watching the Mr. Men show episodes on Cartoon World after that. That doesn't mean I'm done with them forever. I, I could still imagine Mr. Grumpy staring at me with his cold, angry, bloodshot eyes as I watched my other favorite cartoons. I didn't want him cutting me, tearing me the shreds. No, not me. Whatever he could do to end my life. I just hope that one day I could find more info about this episode. However, here's the real question. How did they get away with making such an abysmal episode?